and welcome back to Little Spy Lyra. Today we'll make some garden accessories for a 124th scale dollhouse using a rook, a queen, and a king piece from a Dollar Tree chess set. First, let's talk a little bit about scale. The three most common measurements for dollhouse scale is 1 6th, 1 12th, and 1 24th. 1 6th scale or play scale is used for fashion dolls like Barbie. 1 6 means for every one foot in real life, it's two inches in the fashion doll world. 1 12th scale is commonly used for traditional dollhouse measurements. 1 12th means for every one foot in real life, it's one inch in the dollhouse. Finally, 1 24th scale is another common scale for dollhouses. 1 24th means that for every one foot in real life, it's a half an inch in this scale. Since we are making 1 24th scale accessories today, our one and three quarter inch garden gazing globe and bird bath would each be three and a half feet tall in real life because one and a half inches is three feet and a quarter inch is half a foot. Also, our larger three quarter inch wide flower pot would be 18 inches wide in real life, and our smaller three eighths inch flower pot would be nine inches wide. And now, on to the tutorial. You're gonna start by removing any burrs left on the chest pieces from the manufacturing process. I just used some side cutters to remove any little bits of plastic. Next, I cut the little plus symbol from the top of the king piece and then the little ball from the top of the queen piece. Also, I separated the top portion of the queen piece and the bottom portion of the queen piece from that little pillar that holds the two together. Guys, make sure to wear some eye protection when you're doing this cutting. Uh, those little pieces love to shoot off like little tiny bullets. Don't ask me how I know. Once you retrieve the piece that shot off like a bullet from your floor, you're ready to go on to the next step. Have this little plate left over from a Dollar Tree Child's tea set. I just cut the flat center circle portion out, and this is what I'm going to use for the top of the bird bath. Next, grab your sanding block, nail file, sandpaper, whatever your preferred method is, and sand all the pieces so that they're smooth and flat. After sanding, I used rubbing alcohol, and I wiped down all the pieces, including the marble, to remove any dust from sanding or fingerprints or oil or whatever may have accumulated on these little pieces while working with them. Now you're going to see here I used some poster tack putty and a toothpick. I used these to hold the pieces so I can paint them with two thin coats of Mod Podge, allowing the pieces to dry between coats. The Mod Podge will ultimately help the paint stick to the glass and the plastic. After the second coat of Mod Podge dried, I used black acrylic paint to give the rook, king, marble, and plate a base coat, and I let them dry. Then I painted them gray and painted the two off cuts from the queen in a terracotta colored acrylic paint. Then I let everything dry again before moving on. While the pieces dried, I got into my stash of sequins, again also from Dollar Tree. I picked gold, magenta, purple, and blue and cut all the sequins down into small shards. If you have it on hand, you could use shard glitter or chunky glitter. Basically, we're going to go for a mosaic tile effect here, so use what you have. Using glossy Mod Podge, I began placing and adhering the sequin shards onto the marble one by one with a toothpick. Since I'm making a floral pattern here, I went with gold centers and magenta petals. Ultimately, I'll use the remaining purple and blue to fill in any of the gaps. You don't really have to make a pattern, though, if you don't want one. Just sprinkle the sequins onto the Mod Podge as willy-nilly as you like. Then, make sure all the sequins are pressed down flat against the marble before it dries. While the Mod Podge dries, take some light gray paint and brush over the rook, the plate, and the king piece. Then, we come back to our beautiful-looking little mosaic. As you can see here, this is where I started adhering the purple and the blue. After it dried, I coated the whole piece in Mod Podge again, and then I sprinkled on some white iridescent glitter. I patted the glitter down and let it dry. This will simulate grout while maintaining and enhancing all that sparkly goodness. Next, I took some matte Mod Podge and mixed it with some coffee to make fake dirt. Then, I took my fake dirt and filled the head portion of the queen piece and the base portion of the queen piece with the mixture. When everything was dry, I took my Dollar Tree Fix-All adhesive and I began assembling. 
the plate goes on top of the king piece, and voila, you have yourself a bird bath. Then bend the crenellations of the rook out gently and glue in your marble. Poof, garden gazing globe is complete. Grab some Dollar Tree reindeer moss and a little bit of white glue. And now I'm just going to make a little tiny green plant growing out of the large flower pot. I lost the footage, but I painted a hops flower, also from a Dollar Tree pick, uh, dark green, and glued it onto the small flower pot. Of course, after they were dry, I realized the scale was off, so I pulled the moss off the large one and the hops off the small one and switched them around. There we go. That is so much better. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like what you saw, take a look around, watch, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, all the things. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!